In this video, we're going to take a look at another register function, the setRegister2 function. In an earlier video, we looked at the setRegister function, which allows you to change one byte of data. This was perfect for changing the ID of the Dynamixel, which only holds one dot, which only requires one byte of data. However, if we look at other information, so including model number, the angle limit, the moving speed, goal position, torque, a, a whole lot of other things requ requires two bytes of data. And in order to change uh, the values on those registers, we need to use, instead of using set register, we need to use set register two, which allows you to change two bytes of data. So in this video, we're gonna uh, use the set register two function to change the uh, goal position, which we're just moving the position of the Dynamixel motor. So the same thing as the set position function. And in this video, I'm gonna be uh, using my Dynamixel motor that's on my um, robotic arm right here. And it has an ID of eight. So to start, uh, I've already had have my Arduino IDE open and I've already imported the BioLoid library and I've already set up the function. So the syntax is the same as the regular set register except that it has a two here because you're going to be changing two bytes of data. So the first parameter is going to be the same. It's going to be the ID. So my arm has or my motor on my robotic arm here has an ID of eight. And then the important thing to note about the the register parameter is that it always takes the lowest um, it always takes the lowest register. So for our goal position, we're going to use thirty instead of thirty one. If you use thirty one, you're going to get an error message. So always stick with the lowest uh, register for any given um, or whatever with whatever you're trying to change. For this one, it's going to be 30. And the last one's going to be your the data that you want to be sent to those registers. So in our case, it's going to be the goal position. And I'll start by setting it to, to 0. And then I'll delay for 2 seconds. And then in my loop, I'll just make the claw close and open by setting it to two different positions. Uh, let's just copy this and then paste it two times. So I'll just make it open and close from halfway to full. So now let's upload it okay so you could see now that I've successfully set a position on the dynamics motor using the set register 2 function